Hi kids, welcome to Helvetia Community Church VBS uh, craft day on Wednesday. Today we're going to make a photo frame. Uh, when you picked up your supplies the first day, you should have had your picture taken by staff there at the church. So um, this project is what that picture was for. So. The picture frame opening is approximately two and a half inches wide by three and a half tall. Also, we are doing our craft outside, so you're going to hear some outside noises. Maybe some lawn tools, airplanes, people talking. Apologize if it gets too loud. Okay, so you're going to want to empty your package, uh, sort out your brown sticks from the green ones. Okay, get your glue handy. And the first thing you're going to want to do, there's a instruction sheet in there. You can also follow along with me if I get too fast for you, you can pause the video. So the first thing you're going to do is put these bottom two uh, sticks together. Okay, and then two on the bottom, there's one on the top. Kind of measure it a little bit to see. This is going to overlap just a little bit like this. Um, that's fine. Uh, you're going to open your glue and kind of measure it a little bit just by eye. So I put my popsicle stick here. It's going to be too wide. So just going to put some glue here. Don't overdo it with the glue. It will squish out everywhere. It's easy to get too much. And then we're gonna lay that first stick down there. See, I got too much. It's easy to do. And this one here. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Use a little less next time. There goes the airplanes. Live pretty close to the airport. Okay, and then we're gonna place another stick here. A bit more glue over here. It's always easier to add glue than to take it away. Okay. So kind of press it down a little bit. Try to make them even, if you can. Okay. Then we're going to work on the roof. Okay, so it's two per side, as you can see. Um, this you might want to put on here just to kind of get an idea of the angle before you get your glue out. You want it to cross over a little bit. You want a little bit of this wood showing. So. Just about like that. Okay, so. Let me get my glue ready. Try to kind of eyeball it. Your wet glue kind of shifts around a little bit, so you have to readjust those as you go. It's okay. Two there. I'm going to kind of line this up again. Looks like these can go up just a little bit. Right there. Okay, just kind of eyeball where you need the glue. Glue down. Oh, I forgot glue up 
up here. Okay. Okay. This is right here. And the next one. Hold it down for a sec. It's coming up a little bit. It's a little tricky. The glue kind of makes it slide around a little bit. So at home you might want to, uh, you know, give it a few minutes to dry. Next thing I would do is go ahead and make your sign. Oh, looky there, we got two on accident. You can put your name here, you can put your name and VBS, it's up to you. How I line this one up is I put it all the way against this edge and then like this. So the trees are going to be there, so you're going to want to make sure that you're writing over here on this half of the, the sticker. Okay, I'm just going to say the same thing. HCC. PBS 2020. Okay, and this is a sticker, so it has a backing to it. Peel that off. And again, kind of center it right here to the edge. Over here. Sorry about that noise in the background. I hope you can hear me. And you're going to take your trees. I think it might be almost easier to go top down because of the way the trees are cut. So start at the top of the tree. Peel it down slowly. I think it's less likely to rip. Let me do that. So this one, as you see, you're going to want to put this very near the edge. You don't want the trees so far over in the center of your frame that your picture is totally cut off. So I'm going to put this right here. And it goes up to the roof. And then again with this. Peel it slowly from the top down. Okay, and then the trees are overlapping. And again, you don't want it too far over this way. So, But you want it over enough so you can see the first tree also. So. Just carefully stick that down. Okay. And then you have a little string here and that's for hanging. And you affix that with these foam stickers. And again, it has a paper backing on it. So you're going to want to peel those off. that one at a time I think. So this is the tricky part. You might want to wait a few minutes, pause the video, let yours dry. I'm going to attempt to do mine now. You need to flip this over so you can see the back and the glue pretty wet. Look at that. It's trying to fall apart on me. So you're going to flip it over. Reaffix your things there. And you're going to want to put the string about like this for hanging. So just hold it there. Kind of center it over the string. Peel the backing off that. Once again, put it this way, center it. Okay. And then get your picture that we printed out for you. Um, my picture is a little bit smaller than the opening. You can see the uh, white around it. That's okay. Just try to center it as best you can. 
and you're going to use these uh, long foam stickers to get those on. So it's the top up here, so the top of your picture. Looks just about right. I did the short ones first. Doesn't really matter all that much. And then you're just going to try and center it there on your picture paper. There we go. And take your long ones. These are going to overlap a little bit on the top, but it's okay because the roof is taller. So I kind of align it almost all the way to the end down here. See how much longer that is. But maybe it kind of helps keep it together as it's drying. Okay, and then the last one. There we go all the way to the end. Hopefully that's not sticking out. Just kind of go along carefully, make sure it's secured down. My glue is still wet, so you might want to wait on yours, depending on how slick it is, and turn it over, and here you go. My picture could have been over just a little bit more. You can probably adjust those pretty easily if you'd like by just peeling that up carefully. Uh, there's your Wednesday craft, and uh, looking forward to tomorrow. Hope you're having a great week so far.